Hi everyone, welcome to my first YouTube video. My name is Divine and I'm so excited to start this journey with you. Here on Smooth Learning with Dr. Divine, we will be exploring fascinating science topics, we'll be simplifying concepts and also we'll be learning with drawings and tips. Whether you are preparing for exams or you just love to learn, you will find something helpful here. Today, I will be introducing anatomy to you. Have you ever wondered how your body is built or how every part of your body works together to keep you alive? Firstly, I would like to mention that for each gender, of course, I mean for humans, the female and the male, there are variations in their anatomy, I mean in their structure. Let's go through the outline together. What is anatomy? What are the levels of organization? What are the branches of anatomy? The importance of anatomy? And lastly, the tips for studying anatomy. What is anatomy? Anatomy is the branch of science that studies the structure of living organisms. In humans, it's all about understanding how our bodies are built from the smallest cell to the largest organ. Just like the same way we have a building and we have the building made up of several building blocks. That is exactly what anatomy is. It's all about understanding how our bodies are built from the smallest cell to the largest organ. Levels of organization in the body. We have the cells. These are the smallest structural and functional units of life. In fact, the cell is actually the building block of life. It is what makes up life. The second level is the tissues. These are groups of similar cells working together. Then we have the organs. These are tissues combined together to form organs like the heart or lungs. Four, we have the organ systems. Organs work together in systems like the digestive system or the nervous system. So it simply means that systems are groups of organs working together to perform a specific function. Lastly, an organism. All systems together form the entire human body. Now this is an example of each of these levels of organization. We have the cells, the tissues, the organ, organ system and organism. An example of a cell is the heart muscle cell. An example of the tissue is heart muscle tissue. Example of an organ is the heart. And an example of an organ system is the cardiovascular system. An example of an organism is human. This means that the smallest unit of the heart is a cell. That is the heart muscle cell. Several heart muscle cells come together to form the heart muscle tissue. And this heart muscle tissue comes together to form the heart. Where would you find the cardiovascular system? Of course, in a human. The next topic is the branches of anatomy. The first branch is gross or topographical anatomy. This is the study of structures visible to the naked eye. Examples, muscles, bones, and so on. And number two, histology or microscopic anatomy. This is the study of structures requiring a microscope. Examples, the study of cells and the study of tissues. Of course, the cell is the smallest unit of life. You cannot see that with your naked eye. So you need a microscope to view that. And also we have the embryology. This is a study of the development of an embryo from fertilization to birth. So it has to do with the formation of an organism, basically. Other related fields are human physiology. And human physiology is the study of the function of the body structures and the mechanisms of action. So it has to do with the functions of these body structures that 
anatomy studies. So it's the study of the functions of the body structures and their mechanism of action. And all that related fields are genetics. Genetics is the study of inheritance of traits and the roles of genes in determining the structure and function of the body. The next outline is the importance of anatomy. Why is anatomy important? Why do we need to study anatomy? Why do we need to study anatomy? Number one, anatomy forms the basis for the practice of medicine. Also, anatomy helps in the understanding of injuries and diseases. And um, also for research and innovation. Now, to the tips for studying anatomy. Anatomy could be a little bit bulky or volatile. So, these are some tips for studying anatomy. Number one, the use of mnemonics for memorization. For example, to remember the levels of organization, which are the cells, tissue, organ, organ system, and organism. You could remember this instead. Cute tigers often sleep outside. Now that makes it easier to remember um, anatomy. Also, practice diagrams. In fact, when you're reading anatomy, make sure you try to learn diagrams because this actually helps to remember in exams. Also, use 3D models and atlas to visualize structures. This could be online platforms or even textbooks for you to visualize structures. For instance, to find where a particular bone is or where a particular vessel is, let's say artery or vein, or where a particular nerve is found, or even an organ. Now, so these are tips for studying anatomy. That will be all for today. I'm sure you've learned one or two things about anatomy today. To get more of this content, please subscribe and um, click on the notification bell to see my next video. See you in my next video. Bye.